Growing Impact discusses underground storage of carbon. Anytime you're extracting a resource from the subsurface or um, injecting something like carbon dioxide, or if you're relying on a rock formation to store some sort of energy or waste product, in any of those systems, you need to ensure that the fluid ex itself is not going to react with the surrounding rock in a way that compromises the integrity of that formation. If you want to get rid of, uh, uh, dispose of a compound, you, you want, you just don't want it, it's a waste. You probably want to lock it. You want to precipitate it, you want to dissolve it, and then you want it to sort of precipitate it out from that, uh, from that solution. Because once it's precipitated, it's immobile. If you inject CO2 into one of these rock types, that sparks a series of geochemical reactions through which the CO2 is actually converted into a solid carbonate mineral. If you, if you zoom out and you say, well, what do you want out of this technology? What do you want to know is how much can you store and how fast? Listen and learn more at iee.psu.edu slash podcast.